All right, hey everyone, Mr. W here. This lesson is on decimal numbers uh, understanding thousands. So for example, the number one decimal point nine five three is an example of a number with thousands. The decimal point in the middle there has the job of separating your whole numbers on the left side of the decimal point, the one, with your decimal numbers that are on the right side of the decimal point in this case the 953. That is actually the fraction 953 thousandths. The three uh, represents the thousandths place value and that's the focus of today's lesson. So we'll be talking a little bit about how to read thousandths properly, some place value, and the common mistakes that students make. The number that you see in green there would be read as one and 953 thousandths. The one is your whole number on the left side with the thousandths cube, and the 953 is the fraction 953 thousandths, which is harder to represent, but we'll just show that with the blacked out cube. The 953 are your decimal place uh, value numbers, and you just would read them as one group. So for example, 953, and then we say thousands because that last digit, the three, is in the thousands place value. This number is two and one hundred thirty-seven thousandths. The two would be your whole number on the left side, and the one hundred thirty-seven would be the fraction one hundred thirty-seven thousandths. This is simply one hundred seventy-three thousandths because there's no numbers on the left and the fraction one hundred seventy-three uh, on the right side out of a thousand at 173 thousandths. Um, sometimes the mistake is just to read that as 173, but keep in mind that to be 173, it would have to be on the left side of your decimal point because it would be a whole number on the left. Fractions and decimals are related. It's one of our main points today. So for example, 264 thousandths is a fraction. Fractions have a numerator, a denominator, and a fraction bar. And the question is, you know, how do you show fractions when you have to show it on a calculator? And you can't show a numerator and denominator. And a, um, a computer that has a digital display. So to the answer to that question is decimals. Our decimal place values, um, you don't need a fraction bar, so we can get rid of that, and you don't need a denominator. We can get rid of that as well. However, we will need our numerator, and what we have in place of those things is place value. Remember, those are decimal place values, right? So we have our decimal point. That makes sense. And everything to the right of that decimal point, like we said, would be tenths, hundredths, and thousands for today's. And our focus is mostly thousands today. So we would read that number as 264 thousandths. And remember that our decimal place values, all three of those numbers, we just read as one number on that side. So that would be 264 and we say thousands because the four is in the thousands place value. I'm talking a little bit about our place value. Again, the decimal point separates your whole numbers, right, from your fractions, or in other words, your decimals, okay? And when you start with your whole numbers, you know, we just learned that you have your place values, right? We know ones and tens, and it just keeps going on and on. And that's multiples of 10. It's increasing by 10 each time. So keep in mind that when we're talking about whole numbers, just don't forget that that's on the left side of that decimal point. You really could write 4 also as 4 decimal point 0, and that just reads as 4 as well. And it's your job to understand that that decimal point is on the left side of your uh, Four. 65 could also be written as 65 decimal point zero, so keep that in mind. Okay, with our decimal numbers on the right side, remember that they're just fractions, and they are fractions with um, numerators of 10, 100, or 1,000 today. Uh, so, for example, our first decimal place value would be the tenths, and instead of multiplying by 10, we're dividing by 10. So if you had the fraction 2 tenths, it goes right there. But remember, we do not use a numerator or a denominator. Instead, we would write that as um, 2 tenths or 0 decimal point 2. 
73 hundredths, that would be our next decimal place value, the hundredths, right? And instead of the fraction, we would show that as 73 hundredths. Our thousandths is next, that's our thousandths place value. And so 261 thousandths in decimal form, we would show as 261, uh, like you see there. Um, don't confuse thousands and thousands. That's a common mistake that students make because they're spelled very similar. Um, thousands are on the left side. Thousands are on the right. Thousands are whole numbers and thousands are fractions. Thousands you would count like that. And notice that thousands look a lot different, right? So again, try not to make that mistake and be looking out for the TH in the thousands. When you read numbers with decimals, just remember that you do need to say the name of the place value. So for example, um, this would be 3 and 845 thousandths because the 5 is in the thousandths place value. This would be 10 and 302 thousandths, 37 thousandths, 15 and 6 thousandths, 81 thousandths. Okay. So we've got some common mistakes that students make. Uh, one big one is confusing thousands with tenths. So let me show you. Um, just say if you had the fraction seven thousandths and you wanted to show seven thousandths in decimal form. You know, would it be A or B or C? Well, not A, right? Because that really is seven tenths. And we want seven thousandths, not B. That's seven hundredths, so your answer would be C because the seven is in your thousands place value, right? Okay, another one is uh, confusing thousands with hundredths. So for example, the fraction 43 thousandths, you know, it's gonna be A, B, or C, right? Well, it's not A because that is in the hundredths, not thousands, that's 43 hundredths. C is closer, but that is 430 thousandths, not 43. So keep, uh, keep that in mind. It's a little bit tricky, but we want that to be 43 thousandths. Another common mistake is, you know, when do you say tenths or hundredths or thousandths when you're looking at some problems? For example, you know, what number is this? You know, is that four? Is it four tenths? Is it four hundredths? Four thousandths? Well, it's not four tenths, right? Because that would look that way in the tenths, not hundredths. Okay, not thousandths. That would just be four. That's a whole number in the ones place value. And remember that you really could write it as four decimal point zero with your four on the left side of the decimal point, okay? Okay, let's try another one. Uh, zero decimal point zero six. You know, is that six, six tenths, six hundredths, or six thousandths? Not six, right? Because that would be a whole number that you could write either of those two ways. Not six thousandths because that six would have to be in the thousands place value, and it's not the six tenths either. So that would be six hundredths. Why? Because the six is in the hundredths place value. How about this one? Is that just eight? or eight tenths, eight hundredths, or eight thousandths. Not eight thousandths, right? That's way over there. Eight would be a whole number that you could write in one of two ways. Not eight hundredths, because eight hundredths, your uh, hundredths would be two over. So this would be eight tenths, because that eight is in your tenths place value. And one more. What do you think? Two, two tenths, two hundredths, two thousandths, not two, okay, because that's a whole number, right? That would have to be on your left side of your place value. Not two tenths, because the two would have to be in the tenths, and not two hundredths, right? So this would obviously be two thousandths, right? Because the two is in the thousandths place value. Okay, well, thanks for watching today. Appreciate it if you made it this far. Great job, and we'll see you on the next one.